Hello everyone. Let's have a look uh, at an example of a state estimation. To have the example, we will use uh, a software called Torit. This software is developed by me, and the download uh, download link uh, can be found in the description. If you download and extract it, you will get a folder like this. Uh, if you double click on the software, uh, it will open. You do not have to install it. It is plug and play. Uh, at first you have to select a mode, uh, click on state estimation, then we will have a simple example of only three buses. Place the first bus which will be considered as the reference bus, then place the second bus and the third bus. Then connect the buses using the transmission line. Click on B1 and then on B2, the next transmission line B1 to B3 the next one b3 to b2 now set the parameters for the transmission lines say the resistance for the first transmission line is 0 0.01 per unit and the reactance is 0 0.1 for the second one uh, say we have 0 0.02 and 0 0.2 for the third one say we have 0 0.05 and 0 0.5 now we're done with building the system we will place the meters uh, suppose we are placing a meter here in this software the meters work based on the distance for example as i have placed this meter here the closest object is this bus so the power, uh, the real and reactive power uh, shown in the meter will be for the measurement of this bus. Now if I place the meter here, that will mean that this, the closest object is this transmission line. So the real and reactive power will be the real and reactive power flow of the transmission line from the nearest bus to the uh, bus which is far from the meter. Now, uh, let's say we have the power flow meters for all three transmission lines and we have one meter for bus B1. And this is the reference bus as I have told you. So, uh, the measurement for this bus, say we have 1 and 0.0, .0 voltage magnitude and the angle. Place it like this and uh, for example the power flow real and reactive power flow for this transmission line is say uh, 1.5 and uh, 0.5 for this one this is 1.1 or say mm, yeah. and uh, q is say, 0.2 minus 0 0.2 for this one uh, the real and reactive power flow for example uh, we will take so 1.9 and uh, 0 0.7 okay now we have uh, made the uh, we have placed the meters and uh, so these are the these are the uh, measured values okay now if you click on the run button uh, it will show you the options whether you want to do the estimation using weighted least square estimator or the fast decouple state estimator okay let's choose weight, weighted least square that's the most popular uh, the, uh, that's the most accurate one uh, most efficient one Fast decoupled state estimator is the mo is the fastest one. Okay, so if you click on OK, you will see the estimated results here. At the same time, you will see the calculations here. So here, at first, we have eight measurements: v, theta, pq, pq, and pq. So at first, we will build the measurement matrix a measurement vector z 